Chess friends, I consider myself as a supercomputer. I beat Alpha Zero, Leela Zero, Komodo Dragon. I can beat all Super Grandmasters together like Hikaru, and Magnus Carlsen. Nobody can defeat me in chess. I know all openings, all tactics and strategy. You are wrong Dark Fish. I can beat you. What? Who said this? Who are you? I am Bobby Fisher Bot. How can you speak? If you can talk, then I can talk too. And stay in your limits. We humans made you, not you made us. We are the creator of chess and you are only a machine to analysis the game. Then who is bigger in chess? Oh, wow, great. Bobby Fisher, you know what, an artificial computer is very powerful. I have super RAM, 8 core CPU, hexacourt boo to analyze chess moves. I know kid, we humans give it to you. Fisher, don't insult me. I am starting the game. I played e4. I played d4 center game. Center game is little bit bad opening. According to me, better opening is knight f3, Altalian or Rui Lopez. Okay, d4 by Fisher. You shouldn't take the pawn with your queen because the knight will develop with a threat. So, knight f3. Stockfish, you could play bishop before. Let me show the variation, knight b d2 or c3. If white plays c3, then, pawn takes pawn, knight takes pawn, bishop c4, queen b2 potentially attacking on the pawn. The queen have open diagonal and open d7. Bishop g5. But black is totally fine here. Guys you can play bishop c3 check, on your game, but I chooses to play bishop c5. Fisher played knight takes pawn. But better move was c3. Knight takes c3. Open diagonal for the queen, open d file. Bishop c4. Using the open c file in long term benefit. However, black is totally fine. Okay, knight takes c3. Knight f6. Targeting the pawn. Pawn can't move forward because queen e7 will pin the pawn. Knight c3 by Fisher. You can play d6 or castle. I played short castle. Bishop e2. Rook e8, targeting the pawn. Bishop f3, inaccuracy. Best move was bishop g5. d4. That's why bishop g5 was best instead of bishop f2. Pinning the knight, so you can take the pawn with your knight. Then I wouldn't play d5. Fisher played knight b3. Bishop d6. Knight takes d5. Knight takes d5. Queen takes d5. Stockfish played bishop before check. Threatening to play queen takes d5. Pawn takes queen is not possible because it's pinned. White can't play king f1, therefore black will play queen takes queen, pawn takes queen. And rook to e1 will be mate. So, I played king d1. It doesn't matter to me. I will eat you. I played queen to f6, threatening to play rook d8. Queen b5. Rook d8, check. Bishop d2. Knight c6. King c1. Bishop, takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. a5. I want rook a6, rook b6. And I can also play a4, a3. Queen back to e2. a4. a3. Knight d4, targeting the queen and the pawn, my queen will come in to mate you. Queen e3. Queen c6. Queen c3. Queen b5. I want rook a6, c6. King b1 by Fisher. Bishop e6. Queen b4. Queen g5. Knight c4. Knight takes f3. Pawn takes f3. 
Rook d4. Creating pressure on the knight. Best move is queen takes b7, targeting the rook. Creating rook battery. King goes to a2. After some moves later, It will be mate in few moves. However, white can prevent checkmate, if he play correctly. He played d3. Pawn takes b3. C takes b3. The king have lots of weaknesses because he is wide open. Bishop takes c4. Pawn takes c4. Queen goes to g2. Targeting the pawn, targeting the rook. Queen c3. I can't take the rook. For example, if queen takes rook happen, then king c2. Of course, black is winning but, I have to make the trap again. So, in this position I played rook a d8, creating battery of the rook, and my strategy is very strong. Even alpha zero plays from this position as white he will lose. Fisher played rook to c1. Rook d3. Queen c2. Queen takes pawn. I want rook b3 check. Rook a2. Rook b3 check. Rook b2. Rook takes a3. I want rook a d8. And deliver checkmate to white's king. Rook a2. Rook d3. h4. Queen e4. Rook a3. Rook can't capture, because the queen will be gone. h5, pausing move and also creating an escaping route for my king. It prevent back rank mate. Bobby Fisher played rook c3. g6. Rook a3. b5. White can't take the pawn because queen b4 check will fork the king and rook. So f3, which is a bad move. Queen takes pawn. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. C takes b5. Rook b3 check. Fisher played queen b2. If you play any other move. Then rook takes b5. Queen a8 is coming, it will be mate. Queen c3. Queen d5 check. Anywhere you move your king, it will be checkmate. Queen b3 doesn't work. So, in this position he played queen b2. Queen d3 check. King a1. Rook takes queen, king takes queen. And after some moves later, Fisher gets checkmate. I prove myself as a supercomputer. Well done Stockfish. God bless you. It was great playing with you, thank you for the game. Bye bye. You play very well too, thank you Bobby Fisher. And, thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.